A little coding knowledge can save you lots of money and hours of work. Hi, I am Gaurav and welcome to my channel Code with GD. If you are like me and hate wasting time on repetitive tasks, you should watch this video. Imagine spending hours on a simple task, so simple that it feels like it should be automated, but you are doing it manually. That was me every single time I edited a video. During editing, there was this one step that always drained my energy, removing those silent gaps. Every time I had to cut out these silent gaps, it felt like a never-ending task. I had to manually find the silent parts, split the clips and delete them over and over again. One hour, every video. That's how long it took to go through the process. And it wasn't just about time. It was about the mental energy that I consumed. The frustration of knowing that this was something a machine could easily do. At one point, I even thought of throwing money at the problem. I thought about just paying for a tool that could do it for me. There are plenty out there. Descript, Weed, Clipchamp, Clean Voice, Snappy, Podcastle, Simplified and the list goes on. Descript for example charges $12 per month that too if you take an annual subscription. And sure, they offer more services. But I don't need all that. I just wanted a simple cost effective solution. Was I really going to pay for something that I knew could be automated? In my mind, I knew I could solve this problem without spending a dime. But I needed the right solution. So I started searching. I started googling. Google became my best friend. And after some digging, I stumbled upon a GitHub repository. And it seemed like it contained exactly what I needed. I was excited and I cloned the repo and ran the code. But nothing worked. I was met with an error. I could have just given up there and gone back to my manual method, but I knew the problem was solvable. So I kept searching. I kept looking, testing other code and reading through discussions and eventually I circled back to that first repository. This time I decided to dig into the error. This error was related to MoviePy, a library this repository was using. It turned out MoviePy was using a deprecated version of NumPy, which is another Python library. A quick search led me to the solution and the solution was to install the previous version of NumPy. And it was a success. The code ran. Or at least almost. The code ran but when I played the video, the audio was missing. It was a step forward but it wasn't the finish line. I debugged the code. I I extracted the audio and the audio was there. So why wasn't it playing with the video? That's when I realized the issue was with the codec being used. After a bit of research on Google, I found the problem could easily be solved by using the libx264 codec for Macbook. The problem was arising for me because I was using Macbook and Macbook supports a certain range of codecs and libx264 is one of the codecs that QuickTime Player and iMovie support. And guess what? The code ran and this time everything worked perfectly. Success at last. The silent gaps were removed. The audio was intact. And the entire process was automated. What used to take me an hour for one video now just takes me a couple of minutes. I could have spent a lot of money on tool, sure. But by leveraging my coding skills, I not only saved money, but also created a solution that was perfectly tailored for my customization. This experience reminded me of the power of coding, how it can solve real world problems and save time and money. So the next time you are faced with a repetitive time consuming task, ask yourself this. Could I code my way out of this? You might be surprised at what you can achieve. To make things even more exciting, in my next video, I will be building front end for this project and that to using AI. So stay tuned and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel Code with GD. Till then, happy coding. Bye bye.